Hello again, Julian here to talk more about Rift Walker combos. My co-designer Angie is once again running the camera, and we thought about showing off maybe a couple of different combos, but instead what we are going to show off today is one really big combo. Um, so normally in the game, you can gather the, the energy of one element to shift or explore one rift, and then if you have a burst lined up, of a line of three elements in a row, then you can burst one rift and score it at the end of your turn. With this combo, we are going to in fact explore three rifts, shift three rifts, and burst three rifts all in one turn. Now before I go into it, just to be clear, we're doing this to show off a lot of the interactions. This specific combo that's going to involve eight cards would take not only a lot of planning and you know setting up just the right things throughout the game, but also some amount of luck in just getting the right cards to even pull off this combo. So this isn't a common occurrence for the game. But lining up smaller elements of this big super combo, uh, interactions of a few of these cards, is much more reasonable. And so it shows off some of the cool crazy things that can go on in the game. Let me show you first the setup. This is midway through the game, or decently far. We've explored at this point five, sort of six rifts. I'll get into that. Um, this one's explored. This one's been shifted a little bit, just once. Uh, explored this. This one has been explored and shifted all the way around so that it's worth seven points. And this one <clears throat> is worth seven points. It's been shifted all the way around. And its special ability is when it comes into play, you take the, this is Titania's Summoning, you take the top card of the Rift and it gets tucked under that and, um, and it gets shifted along with it. So Titania's Summoning now has another Rift, in this case Trading Favors, underneath it that has been shifted along with it and is also worth seven points and will burst when Titania Summoning will burst. This one that's been shifted all the way around is Project Green Goo. There are three different project cards based off the uh, Rift of Venture. Uh, they're each tied to two different elements. So this one is life and water. And one of its special things is then when it bursts, it can burst another card of its element. So you can see how we're, how we're probably going to get these things to, to burst and burst lots of rifts in one turn. But let me now just go through how this combo is going to work. <clears throat> so, you can see out here on the element grid that currently I have no burst lined up and nothing is particularly even close. Um, so how are we going to even trigger those rifts bursting? Well, in the most involved way possible, hopefully here. <clears throat> We're going to start by gathering the power of water. And that lets us explore or shift one rift. In this case, we are going to explore Billowing Blizzard, a water rift. What does this one do? It lets us shift another water rift and activate its power. And great, we already, in a previous turn, had explored this one called Explore the Isles. So we shift it along and get to activate its power. Its power is Explore another rift from your hand and activate its Explore power. Great, another rift from our hand is Changing Melody, a wind rift. We get to explore it and activate its power. Its power is you may return an explored rift um, back to your hand and replace it with a rift from your hand shifted just as much. So, And this one is missing the text that's supposed to say and activate its ability, but we have that updated in the print and play. <laughs> Thanks. So yes, this one says and activate its ability. So what that's going to let me do is we'll come over to here. This rift, this life rift, very gardening I don't particularly have a use for right now so I'm going to bounce it to my hand to put into play rolling dunes it's shifted along as much as the previous rift was so it's shifted up to three and I get to activate its power which is to shift to one of my fire rifts and activate its power so we go over to fire dancers revel now there are a few cards in the game fire dancers revel is one of them that help you um, circumvent the need for lining up a, a line of elements to burst. Their special ability lets you just burst under certain conditions. In this case, I get to shift Fire Dancer's Revel along, thanks to the Rolling Dunes, and its power is, on my burst step this turn, I may discard my hand to burst one of my rifts. And the only penalty is that in addition to losing my hand, I skip the refresh step, which means I won't be getting any more cards in my hand this turn. So I'll discard my hand. And now I get to choose to burst a rift. I'm going to choose to burst Project Green Goo. When it bursts, 
it lets me burst another rift that is either life or water. I could burst this water rift over here. It's been shift enough, it's worth three points. I could take it along with me, but instead I'm going to burst Titania's Summoning. It's worth seven points, it's been shifted as much as it can be. And when it bursts, it gets to burst the rift that it has underneath it. And so that is three rifts going to the score pile all at once. For 21 points scored in the turn. So as you can see, if you set things up right and have the right cards and enough planning, you can get a lot of card interactions to go off in a single turn. This type of turn would be <laughs> very uncommon in the game, but any of these smaller interactions would be very, very easy to line up. As you can see, just having a couple of the right cards in my hand would let me you know, activate one ability to get another card into play to maybe shift another card along and, uh, and make some progress. So some of the fun of Riftwalker, well, I'd say the most fun of Riftwalker for me, is really getting to discover, the more and more you play, just how these different cards can interact with each other and kind of designing on the fly your own interesting combos, given the powers and rifts that were available to you that game. So I hope you enjoyed our really involved eight-card super combo, and uh, hope that revealed to you some of the cool interactions that are available in the game. Uh, we will be back with more videos to explain some of the themes of the cards and, and some of the story behind it. Uh, and until then, uh, thank you so much for supporting the Riftwalker Kickstarter, and we'll talk to you again soon.